my teacher Billy, your health education teacher. So I hope you're doing good and stay safe always. Let's go to our lesson. Before we begin our lesson, so I want you to prepare these things. Pen. Notebook. Dictionary. So now we're going to do our vocabulary so you can repeat after me. Vocabulary. Adolescent. Acne, sweat, mood, menstruation, gender, Armpit Emotions Groin Grow Our topic today is all about development in adolescence. Again, development in adolescence. What is adolescence? So everyone, repeat after me. Adolescence. Again. Adolescence. Very good. So let's read the meaning of adolescence. It is the process when hormones start to work, resulting in various changes within the body of adolescence. Again, it is the process when hormones start to work, resulting in various changes within the body of adolescence. The meaning of adolescence is there is a big changes of your body from baby to child until you grow up like adult. So look at the picture on the right side. So there is the changes of your body from baby to adult. Do you understand what is adolescence? Very good. So adolescence is divided into three stages. Again, how many stages of adolescence? Very good, there are three stages of adolescence. So one of that is early adolescence. Again, early adolescence. So it occurs between 10 to 14 years of age. Again, 10 to 14 years old. Very good. So this is the picture of an early adolescence. So this affects the mind and causes various emotions resulting in mood swing and more sensitivity. So again, the characteristic of early adolescents, they have mood swing 
and more sensitivity. Okay, so that is the early adolescence. Very good. And the second stage of adolescence is all about middle adolescence. Repeat after me. Middle adolescence. Very good. So it occurs between 14 to 16 years old. Again, in what age they will occur? Very good, that is 14 to 16 years old. So here is an example of a picture of a middle adolescence. For example of that is when you are in grade 8, grade 9, and grade 10. Okay, so their character is they search for identity. So meaning of that is you are looking for your true gender. And gender again, that is a male or a boy or a female or a girl. Understand? And development of themselves. So meaning of that is you will make your body more handsome and more beautiful. Do you understand the middle adolescence? Very good. And the last stage of adolescence is late adolescence. Again, late adolescence. Very good. So it occurs between 16 to 19 years old. Again, in what age they will occur? Very good, that is 16 to 19 years old. So here is an example of a picture of a late adolescence. So meaning of that is they are now in grade 11 and grade 12. Okay? So their character is their body is fully gross, meaning of that is your body will no longer change like your height, your bones, and muscles, and equipped with knowledge and skills for a career. So meaning of that is you will now more focus of your dreams like if you want to become engineer. You will study hard to finish your study, right? So that is the late adolescent. So again, what is their character? Body fully gross, equipped with knowledge, and skills for a career. Very good. So that is the three stages of adolescence. So we have early, middle, and late adolescence. Again, early, middle, and late adolescence. Do you understand? Very good. In adolescence, there are a lot of changes. One of that is your physical changes. Again, physical changes. Very good. So here are the example of physical changes. One is height and weight. Again, height and weight. So adolescents grow in height and weight. So basically, when you are still young, you will grow and grow and grow. Okay, so that is the height and weight. The second physical changes is bones and teeth. Again, bones and teeth. Adolescents have growing bones, thus increasing the height. And obviously, they are growing taller. 
their milk teeth will have been replaced with permanent teeth. Again, their milk teeth will have been replaced with permanent teeth. So again, what is the second physical changes? Very good. That is your bones and teeth. The third physical changes is growth of muscles. Repeat after me, growth of muscles. Very good. During adolescence, the body produces hormones called androgens. The effects of androgen result in growth of muscles and bones. So look at the picture on the right side. So as you can see, there is a little boy and when you do an exercise, lift some heavy weights, you will have growth of muscles. So like this, until you have a full six pack abs and a strong body. Okay, so that is the growth of muscles. Do you understand? Again, what is the third physical changes? Very good, that is your growth of muscles. The fourth physical changes is your growth of the reproductive system. Again, growth of the reproductive system. During adolescence, the growth of the reproductive system is stimulated by the sex hormones, which change your body shape and behavior by gender. So for example, the girls, they will have um, breast development. And for the boys, they will have growth of pennies and testes and voice changes. So that is your growth of the reproductive system. Again, what is the fourth physical changes in adolescence? Very good, that is your growth of the reproductive system. Do you understand? Great! And the fifth physical changes is your acne. Again, acne. Here is an example of a picture of an acne on your face. Basically, this is normal during young or adolescence because your skin contains oil glands and at puberty, there is an increase in sex hormones called androgens. And remember, you should always wash your face before going to bed because there is a lot of bacteria that you get from outside. Okay? So, always clean your face to avoid acne. Do you understand? Great! And the last physical changes is your body odor. Again, body odor. Body odor begins at puberty. So it is normal that you will have a body odor. But how are you going to prevent body odor? So you should always wash your skin with a wet washcloth and soap, especially in those areas prone to sweating. Or you should take a bath before going to bed so that you are always fragrant and remember before you go to school you should take a bath also okay so in one day 
you will take a bath twice to prevent body odor. Okay? Do you understand about the physical changes? Great! So that is the physical changes.